All right, so did you pick up one of these little blue boxes? Good. All right, so the first thing you're going to do here is uh, we got your uh, names all logged in. So you're going to push this little green button until it turns on. So you push it for a little bit, and it says, Welcome to Smart Response. And now you're going to find a class. It says, Join Class 29, but you're going to find a class. So you, so you push down a little bit, and hit Enter, and it's going to do this thing called do 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 without the sound. Is there volume on it? Yeah, I just... Join Class 29, so we... No, 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 no. Yeah, now after you find class. All right. All right, so once it says class is found, there's class 29, you hit enter. And then it says joining class 29. Now, it's very important the way these schools work, or the, the computers work here at the school, is even though the class 29 was already there, you always want to find the class whenever you turn these on because for some reason it doesn't register from the last time it was used. All right? And then what happens is if different classrooms use it, it changes those classrooms. So you always want to find which one's turned on. All right, so now it says ID. So like I said, everybody log in your four numbers for your lunch ID. Where does it say ID? Yeah, I can't even, okay. It should have popped up. Right there we go. That one we press. And then press enter. Oh, yes. It knows who I am. I'm coming it around says to my name. You have your name. It says my name. Look at that. Let me see. It should have your name on it. Hey. And then if you're that person, Whoa. you hit yes. Got it? Got it? Yes, I am that person. Got it? Welcome to it. class 29, it? Noah. Oh, yeah. 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 What would you like? Yeah. Oh. You guys are there? Hey. What's that? Devin, let me see yours. No, so, you're just an idiot. So I got 18 out of 23. Devin, see, it even says your name there. We'll do a little bit of attendance here for Mr. Sherman. So is uh, Skyler here? Yeah. Skyler, you're not logged on yet. How come? Skyler. Skyler, you're not logged on yet. back there. Oh, Skyler's right there? That's Skyler. Oh, nice. You need help. <laughs> uh, this is called uh, a video mind jogger. <laughs> I'm trying to watch everything through this. It's Reaches really hard. Right. I am going to place like some uh, questions up here. And in the first uh, round, you will have about 10 seconds. In the second round, you will have about uh, okay, 20 don't. seconds. In the third round, you have about 30 seconds to answer these questions. Like in the first two rounds, round one and round two, uh, you will just be clicking in multiple choice. When we get to round three, you will be writing down an answer uh, on your sheet uh, where the round three space is, uh, and we will come by and we will check and give you a letter to punch in uh, to verify your answer. So I'll write the answers down as I go around, and then whatever letter I write down on the sheet is what you will punch in and then hit, um, and hit enter. Very good. Enter is what we want. So are you guys ready? Like Whoa. I said, we'll walk through this uh, uh, first, the first round. I didn't know I did that. Yeah, you, know, it's the USB. Yeah, it's uh, you can use your notes. You can use your partner. But do not shout out answers or you will lose credit. Uh, according to uh, uh, Mr. Sherman here, we'll, we'll uh, nab you. He's the neighbor. All right? So here's question number one. It says, uh, the diagram below, it says, the diagram below, represents a woodpecker finch. This bird may be described as A, a decomposer that most likely feeds on nectar, uh, nectar is a sugary liquid, uh, from flowers, B, a heterotroph that may eat insects and is more closely related to a robin than an earthworm, uh, C, a scavenger that feeds on animals and reproduces asexually, or D, an autotroph that probes tree bark for insects and is pathogenic. Right, so what you do what now... What does pathogenic mean? Makes you sick. Something that makes you sick. What you do now Pathogen. is you find A, B, C, or D, and then you hit enter. Okay, okay, I got All right, this. Does everyone understand that? All right. And then I... Here's the names over here. I think I, think I know the right answer. The that didn't then do I go down and just press like... Uh, and as you do that, okay, so... so Why is there a red letter, And over annoying. here, your name will disappear once you do that. So if I look and I say, Amber, do you know is it A, B, C, or D, or are you still asking your partner? Yeah. You're still asking her? Yeah. Okay. 
So once Amber decides what it is, she's going to pick A, B, C, or D, and then she's going to hit enter. Like typing. And her name is going to disappear. Hit the letter. Yeah, the letters are on the thing. Wait, did I do that wrong? Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Skylar, you got it? Wait, 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 so now what do I do? Jake, move your head. Is I uh, I stop this question right now, and here's the results. So the correct answer was B. This bird is a heterotroph. Yeah. And 81 percent of you got that correct. Oh man. Okay. 81 percent. Oh, the green pie. There's a little pie chart. The green is in it. If you look on your thing, everyone got it right. Is there a little check mark? Yeah. That means you got it right. So you yes. know automatically when I hit that that you got this correct. All right. Is there any questions at this time? Can we do another one? Yeah, we got we got a whole sheet here. You ready? Whoa. Uh, all right. Everyone who got that correct, you write five points. Oh, cool. The first round is worth five points. The second round is worth ten points, and the third round is worth fifteen points for every question. So if you got that correct, then write on your sheet that the uh, you got five points. If you didn't, put a zero there. You're gonna be adding this stuff up. And here we go. Next question. Is here. I forgot to write my name. Alright, so the diagram below F. represents many species of plant and animals and their surroundings. The diagram below represents A, a population, B, a community, C, an ecosystem, and uh, D, the biosphere. Alright, hmm. so we have just a few seconds here C to answer sounds this. Good. There's beavers and go seagulls and turtles and dragonflies and trees. Is it A, a population? B, a community, C, an ecosystem, or D, the biosphere. Who is James Benjamin? Oh, it's Ben. Where's Ben? Ben. That's says your whole name. I was like, Amber what? and Cody, we're going to be waiting for you. Molly, Amber, and Cody. Come on, Cody. Your name is taking up half the board. Uh, we only have one minute to answer this question, which means we have ten seconds left. Oh, man, ten seconds. Everyone's, everyone's in. Okay, good. Whoa. Oh. I didn't get it right. Yes. The correct answer. Oh my god. Seventy-two percent of you oh. got this correct. That was a hard one. Uh, it's an ecosystem. There's birds and plants that was a and tough other one. animals all living together in harmony. Okay. How many points was that? Yeah. Once again, was worth five points. Oh yeah. Round worth five points. Add five points if you got it correct. Okie doke. Add zero if you didn't. Okay. All right, you guys ready? Here I'm ready. Go. All right, this is fun. Uh, the greatest number of relationships between the organisms in an ecosystem is best shown in A, a food chain, B, an energy pyramid, C, a food web, or D, an ecological succession diagram. So which one of these would show the greatest number of relationships between organisms and an ecosystem? It's better than what I have. Is it A, a food chain, B, an energy oh, I hope pyramid, I that right. C, a food web, oh my or D, an ecological Oh, look, there's a little, like, diagram. dude at the top. There's, like, a little guy with, like, a Tetris bar or something. It's like a USB port thing. There's a little dude with a USB port at the top of my thing. You see it? Amber? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Is it that yours? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's magic. <laughs> it's magic. Skyler, what do you think, Skyler? No. <laughs> Molly! What do we got, Molly? Dog, dog. No! <laughs> yep, look at that, one minute's gone! Five, four, three... Molly! Two, Molly! Oh. Alright, everyone stop this question. Oh, yes, we got it right. Oh my gosh, yes. Well, we got a food C. web. Was it was C. Answer. A food oh, web. A food, a food, food chain. That's right. Oh my gosh, you're so right. smart. <laughs> Food web. He totally, yeah, that was all him. That was all Donovan. I got that wrong. I got it right, yeah, but only because of him. Are you guys ready? All right, here we go. No. What? Uh, I don't which want those. phrase no. is an example of an autotrophic nutrition? Is it a cow eating grass in a field? A mushroom digesting a dead log? 
See. An apple tree making its own food, or a tapeworm feeding in the body Wait, what is of a dog. Right, so which one of these is an example of autotrophic nutrition? That's a lot oh, of wait. No, yeah, no, it's no, no. back. Hit delete. Hit delete and see what happens. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. All of your scores are just bad. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 it's magic. It's magic. Oh, 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 it's magic. You know. All right, here we go. 45 that seconds. Wait, what's the question? 47 seconds. Be careful with your uh, with your little clicker clackers. You're entering the answers. You can pick an answer, and if you wait to hit enter, you can wait a little bit to make sure you're uh, thinking Candid of it correctly. Camera. Amber and Molly. I got it. I got it. Molly. Here we go. Woo! You got me on that one. Again. What was the answer? The correct answer was C. 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 For like four times in a row. Auto self feeder. Remember. Only the third time. I want one of these. These are fun. I would record everything. I want one of these for my birthday. How much are these? That looks cool. It's cool too. You get, everyone's hooked up to their own uh, That's right. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, so number five. Five points. Which concept is being represented in the diagram below? Uh, we start with the bare field, and then we go to a grass stage, and then we go to a rock stage, then we go to a Okay. Forest, then we go to a hardwood forest. So as time, as the years go by, we progress from a bare field to a hardwood forest. Is this A, random mutation? Is it B, ecological succession? B. Is it's it C, not genetic engineering? Or is it D, direct harvesting? You are going to get it wrong. Probably. All right, James. James Benjamin. Yeah, James. Go. Here we go. Everybody's there. This was a quick one. All right. The correct answer. What is it? Oh. B. Yeah. 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 That is one big circle. Ecological succession. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, right, you guys ready? Hey. All right. How do you like it so far? Oh. Amber, how do you like it? I, you, I can't do that. <laughs> it's hard. You think this is hard? Amber's like, if I don't get this right. Yeah. You got, everybody got the last one right, okay? Right. Just keep it going in the timer. It tells you how much time you got left. Now, are you guys, as you go through, are you, are, you, are you getting familiar with some of these words? I have a 100. All right? All right. Better than Tess. Oh, look at that. I have a 100. All right. Let's take a look now. This is round two. I wish all now, round like two this. is more difficult. All right, round one dealt primarily with just vocabulary terms. Round two is going to be a little higher order thinking, a little bit about situations, reading graphs and charts and things like that. Okay? It'll still be multiple choice, but once again, it'll be a little bit more difficult. Do we get more time? Uh, and you get more time. Excellent. You get more time. All right, so you guys ready for round two? Once again, uh, these are worth 10 points each. 10 points each. If you get it correct, you add the 10 points on your sheet. If you get it wrong, you add a zero. Okay? Here we go. Boom. What? All right, so here's a diagram. What? Uh, diagram frequently used in ecological studies is shown below. Here it is. This diagram can be used to represent A, dependency of animal survival on physical conditions in an ecosystem, B, loss of energy from various groups of organisms in an ecosystem, C, competition among species in an ecosystem, or D, mm. Mechanisms that maintain homeostasis in plants in an ecosystem. It's not a horn. No, but it's it could be like a food chain. It's not a food chain. It's an energy pyramid. Are you sure? Yeah. It's B or D. Pick one. B. Oh, man. Positive? Well, 45 seconds. 45 seconds. 55 seconds. 55 seconds. Oh, man. How much is going up? Does it count down or go up? You go, Noah. It's a tough choice. I don't know. I think it's B. That's the one I want to do. Come on, Noah. Write it down. All right, shut up. Here we go, Nick. Here we go. Everybody's in. All right, everybody's finished. Yeah. 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 Ye
Yeah. <laughs> it's an energy pyramid, right? Yeah, yeah. what's it look like? A pyramid. Lots of energy, remember? Where's it go? Up. As? Energy. Heat. Heat. Then, Correct. Right. <laughs> Wait, I was right? Yeah. Why'd you lie to me? I would never lie to you. He just did. Ten points for this round. So you put ten points. Are right, you guys ready for the next one? <laughs> you got that right, wrong. Here we go. Nice. Boom. Oh, jeez. Thrips. Thrips. T H R I P S. Are insects that feed How many on the that? pollen and flowers oh. of certain plants. The size of a thrip population depends on the number of flowers available. Which graph best represents changes in a population of thrips? If winter was longer than usual and the summer was too cool and dry for many flowers to bloom. This is graph A. As the thrip population during fall goes down to winter, starts increasing in spring and levels off in summer. Here's B. As the thrip population increases during the winter and then decreases in the summer. Here's C. The thrip population decreases in the beginning of the winter, then increases before spring starts, then decreases for the summer. Or D, the thrip population decreases in the winter and then begins to increase in spring and summer. It's D for A. Which graph best represents changes in a population of thrips if winter was longer than usual and the summer was too cool and dry? For many flowers to bloom. Random pick one. Yeah. Alright, here you go. Sounds good. This is a tough one. I don't know, maybe we were talking about doing Thursday or Friday. Oh, okay. I'm trying to get one. Uh, it, it's always me. Did he answer the question? I want one of these. Scott, are you ready? With. Destiny? This is your That's it. I'm going to zoom in on your oh, face. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright, here we go. Alright. Who wants to shut out the answer? C. A. A. A is here. Yes. All right. All right. It's easier to catch. Yeah. You guys ready for round three? No. I'm ready for round three. All right. Now remember, so smart. we're gonna we're gonna start this off with a multiple choice, but round three is special. These are the highest order thinking. All right. So what you have here is you got three questions to deal with one passage. And then you got three questions to deal with another passage, all right? How many points These will be worth 15 points each. The passages are on your paper so that you can read them as we, uh, as we go through this. Uh, there's two ways we're going to do this. You're always going to do a multiple choice answer. But for the first one, it's going to be like you're doing. For all the other ones, you're going to write your answer on your sheet, and then I'm going to give you a letter to enter into your little calculating device to put up here. So when you get your answer, you're going to raise your hand, I'll come over and I'll write A, B, C, or D on your now? sheet. You enter that. Starting now. Alright, so this is what I'm reading to you, it's on your sheet. About mayflies. Mayflies belong to a group of insects known as Infermeratoptera. Is that right? Yeah, that's okay. close enough. Say that Which means nice. short-lived wings. Uh, they have been given the name because the adult, the only stage that has wings, lives for only a few days. The aquatic juvenile form of most mayfly species... What's aquatic juvenile mean? Underwater. Yeah. Little underwater, little underwater little baby little underwater. Yeah, okay. Good, good. Lives for several years under rocks and streams that have high levels of dissolved oxygen. The juveniles feed on microscopic photosynthetic uh, organisms, like algae, right? Uh, juveniles supply food for trout and other stream fish. Millions of adult mayflies emerge from stream water in early summer. Uh, someday, uh, Mr. Sherman will take you out to catch some. Uh, the adults have wings for flight but lack functional mouth parts. Their energy supply comes from food stored in their bodies. Birds and bats eat adult mayflies. Adult mayflies mate, lay eggs, and die within a few days. All right, this is all on your sheet. So here is our first question, which is multiple choice. Adult mayflies are able, un, unable to, A, take in food, B, move from place to place, place, C, form ATP. You guys know what ATP is? Yes. Good. 
Deform gametes. Do you know what gametes are? Yeah. Okay, what are they? Somebody said it. Sex cells. Good, right, good. So we have multiple choice here. Adult mayflies are unable to A, take in food, B, move from place to place, C, form ATP, or D, form gametes. Remember the reading passage is right there in front of you. Uh -oh. so, so you can read. Oh, All right. I want to be the last one. I have my answer. I want to be the last. I'm betting. Amber, Molly. Me. Oh, there's Colin. Colin. Jake. What? Yeah, I have my last one. Too. Yes. There you go. <laughs> All right. So, what's our answer? <laughs> A is correct. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. They don't have functioning mouths. How can they eat? Right. They store it. That's right. All right, so this is what you need to do now. Here's where we get into the switch up. Identify the nutritional role of the juveniles in a stream food chain. You need to write that on your sheet. So what do we call When you got something, raise your hand. I'll tell you which. I got something. Good. Right here, dude. Mr. Chairman, you know the answer. Come here, bud. All right. All right, so C, they're heterotrophs, they consume algae or their food uh, for um, fish, but not bats and stuff like that. That's the adults, not the juveniles. All right, so that was the bell. And uh, you guys can add up all your scores right there. You got a good, you got a good, uh, add up your scores. We'll find out who had the winningest, most winningest score ever. Yeah. 105, I hear. 95. Oh! We got 95. 70? We got 105 up here. 85 dollars. 85. We got 110. That's impossible. That is impossible, you are correct. I want them. You want them? Yep. Here you go. I just score on top and I'll take them. Mr. Sherman. No, you got to stop. No, stop videotaping.